Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming Today I Learned, WebGL series, episode 56. We're going to be looking at projection matrices now, and we're going to start with the orthographic projection. So what a projection matrix is, it's responsible for converting the 3D world into the screen space, homogeneous screen space, of negative one to one, to see on your screen. This is the matrix used to represent your view frustrum and is usually represented by an orthographic or perspective. So orthographic is while looking at a scene, objects appear at the distance equally as small or as they do if they're close, uh, or equally sized as close. Uh, this ignores the effect to allow to do scale drawings for construction, engineering, and, and whatnot. So if you think of a box, and if you think that all of the edges are the same, regardless of the distance of the farthest away side to the close side, that would be a uh, an orthographic projection, so everything would be nice, square, and the same size. Uh, here's some useful links that you'll be able to see in the show notes. Our vertex shader has been updated as such. We have this projection matrix, which is multiplied by the model view matrix, which we looked at in the previous episode, and then we multiply that by the position. The application code is more or less the same until we get to the trough function, and as we scroll down, you can kind of see uh, all the things basically are the same. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the draw. So we're going to go grab our two different uniforms now. We have our model view matrix and our projection matrix. And we're going to go ahead and create a 4x4 four four matrix for each of those. We're going to set the model view to be just a look at for this time. You can go ahead and set the rotate if you wanted to, but it's not necessary. Um, and then we're going to use the projection matrix. Here we're using the box, like I said, it's orthographic. It takes in the function of the out matrix, left, right, the bottom and the top of the box, and then the near and the far. So we're making a box with a left side, a right side, a bottom, a top, and then a near and far. So you can see here we're going from negative one to one on the left and the right side, negative one and one from the bottom to top, and the nearest is 0.1 and the farthest is a thousand away. And you can see we're going to go ahead and set both of these uh, matrices on the uniforms. So here's our uh, code here. You can see we have a couple of triangles. And like I said before, we're getting a little bit of clipping going on. So this tr the triangle is getting cut off. And that's basically because the near is too near, in fact. If it was a uh, had more distance in between or the edge of the box, we would no longer be clipping that off. So if you could now see that since the uh, near side is negative 100, the triangles now have the ability to come really, really close and still not be cut off anymore. So um, we'll go ahead and look a little more near far in the next episode, but that's it for this episode. If you like what you saw today, please subscribe, like this video, share on social media if you will, Go to programmingtil.com and sign up for my newsletter. Have a great one.